Temple of Ascending Flame was founded on December 21, 2012. Its main purpose is to provide a gateway to the draconian current, offering initiation and exchange of knowledge and experience between those who already work with draconian magic and those who want to start the path. We are a magical temple, not a magical order. This means we don't have a system of initiation based on grades or any specific hierarchy. Instead, we offer one initiation, and that is initiation into Draconian Current, which happens after an 11-week introductory program. The rest of our work is based on short and long-term projects, with workings designed both for advanced adepts and for beginners. There are no restrictions on participation in our open projects, and in our inner work, we welcome all who are capable of receiving and channeling the current of the dragon. The inner work of the temple consists of methods and techniques used to adjust receptivity of the practitioner's consciousness to the energies of the draconian current. This is done through rituals, meditations, invocations, evocations, astral travel, lucid dreaming, sigil work, blood offerings, sex magic, energy raising techniques, working with mirrors and crystals, and many others. If not all of these methods appeal to you, you need to be aware that as a member you will never be forced to do anything you don't feel comfortable with. Instead, you will be constantly challenged to question your values and principles, to overcome your inhibitions, and to transform your fears and hesitations into strength and tools of power. The foundations of magic in the Temple of Ascending Flame are centered on three draconian and left-hand path archetypes. Lucifer, who is the Lord of Flames and represents the force of evolution and ascension on the path. Lilith, representing the draconian fire of transformation, the principle of passion and desire that drives the initiate on the path, and Leviathan, the dragon of the void, and primal source of all manifestation. Other archetypes used within the temple are Hecate, the teacher of witchcraft and the guide to personal underworld, the depths of the psyche. Arachne, the spider goddess of space and the queen of clefothic labyrinths beneath the cosmic tree. Belial, the intermediary between spirits of the night side and the magician the gateway to the power of Goesha. Set, the archetype of the adversary, the god of storm and change, the principle of dynamic transformation. The central work of the temple is to introduce the aspiring initiate into the draconian path and clefothic magic and assist in the initiatory process on the path of the dragon. Draconian magic is a path of self-transformation. While in some magical traditions the practitioner uses magic only as a tool that is used for a specific purpose and then put away, by working with the draconian current we become magic and develop within ourselves all the necessary tools to manifest our will in the universe. Being a draconian initiate in this sense is about living your life according to the path. It's not something you do in your free time, on occasion, at social events, or for recreation. It is life, living the path and being aware of your vision, desire and will in every single moment of existence. Walking the path is a lifetime choice, and while you develop and grow in the process, you may find yourself in need to rearrange your whole life to suit the path. This is not a process for dabblers. This path will change you to such an extent that you will have to find a new place for yourself in your environment and new ways to interact with the world. It will push you out of your safety zone and confront you with the unknown. It will bring to surface all your powers and weaknesses, all issues you have ever had in your life and your entire evolutionary potential. 
but once you're on the right track, on the path, all things will start to fall into place, opening new possibilities, bringing you more health, prosperity, love, excitement and inspiration that you have ever had in your life. To start the draconian path, you don't need any prior experience or advanced magical skills, but you do need a potential and will to develop both. This magic is all about work. Practicing, training, developing, shaping, polishing, perfecting, experimenting, descending into the blackest pits of hell and soaring up to the sun to tear down the illusions of the world and to reach for powers that may seem imaginary and mythical to the ignorant, but for the initiate they can be real and tangible tools, if only we learn how to harness and control them. There is no such thing as a theoretical or passive draconian magician. This magic is about invoking, channeling and absorbing the power and manifesting it in the world. It is about recognizing weaknesses and inhibitions, and transforming them into a vehicle of personal ascent. There is no place for empty philosophies that only boost the ego but are not grounded in genuine experience. And this is what we teach our initiates in the Temple of Ascending Flame. The projects of the Temple include a wide variety of subjects. So far they have covered such themes as the Lost Noses of Atlantis, Masks and Powers of Lucifer, Secret Pathways of the Spider Queen, The Crossroads of Hecate, Dark Paths of the Clifovic Tree and the Tunnels of Set, Gods and Spirits of Witchcraft, Stellar Gateways, Thrones of Draconian Gods, The Dark Feminine, Rites to Bless and Curse, Mysteries of Death and Spirit Binding, Lilith's sexual alchemy, vampire magic, rites of self-empowerment and elevation, secrets of blood magic, pacts with dark gods and spirits, and many more. Each year we have a new project with a leading theme and the workings are conducted monthly. We publish anthologies dedicated to the Draconian Current on a regular basis. The detailed information about these books is covered on our website, where you will also find links to places where you can order them. These books are released as unlimited paperbacks, with affordable prices, and are available to everyone who seeks assistance in the initiatory process on the Path of the Dragon, or those who simply want to expand their knowledge about this magical tradition. The authors of the anthologies are temple members and experienced adepts of the draconian tradition. To join the temple and work with us, you need to do a series of workings called the Ascending Flame Project and send your report from this work, together with a personal introduction, a few words about yourself your past experience and current interests. We will review your report and let you know whether it is going to be accepted or you might rather profit from working with another magical path. Each report is reviewed by a team of experienced members and you can be sure to receive a thorough assessment of your work. To receive the Ascending Flame project you need to send an email to the temple's address which is info ascendingflame.com don't send a blank email, introduce yourself with a few words, or at least include some information about why you want to join the temple. Our work is not based on rituals in person, and you don't have to attend our meetings, although we do have them as well, and information about forthcoming meetings is announced through our inner communication channels. Most of our work, however, is conducted individually and you simply work alone in your home temple after receiving the materials by email. It doesn't matter where you live. All materials you need for this work are sent in an electronic form personally to each member. For inner communication we have a forum where you can meet other initiates, ask your questions and participate in discussions with other members.
Many people ask us if they can join while already being members of other magical groups. Usually it depends on a group. In many cases participation in our projects will only empower your path and you can successfully combine them with practices of other magical groups that work with draconian magic. The only thing to consider is finding time for both. Our inner projects are usually intense and require a lot of time and dedication, which can be a serious obstacle if you are already pursuing another magical path. We don't discourage members of other orders from joining us, but you have to think what is best for yourself and decide if you can dedicate enough time and energy to another magical group. We don't charge anything for membership in the temple. There is no money involved and membership and all materials are free for each initiate. The only thing we ask in return for our work is that you share your own results of our rituals and projects in the form of regular reports. Another requirement is that you have to be active in your work. If you stop participating in our projects for longer than a year, you will be asked to reconsider your membership in the temple. You will find more information about the temple on our website, which is ascendingflame.com. You will find there all you need for the start, and in the materials section you can read essays shedding more light on our philosophy, rituals and meditations from our past open projects, and other materials. For additional information, check out our publications. Finally, if you have a question that you haven't found answered on our website or anywhere else in our public materials, feel free to email us. In the contact section of our website, you will also find a link that will take you to a page where you can sign up for a newsletter and stay informed about our upcoming publications and open projects.